How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of half acre up in this piece in the form of their high and dry. Yeah, this is a 6.8% alcohol by volume India Pale Ale. What's the date on this? I didn't even check. Ooh, 720. Three weeks old. Nice. Ripple, ripple in still water. I don't know what still water. Ripple in still water. It's probably from the song or something like that, right? Yeah. I love half acre. I do. They make great beers. Now, this is high and dry. I assume it's going to be a hoppy beer that maybe finishes relatively dry. That's my assumption upon reading the label. Reason why I picked it up. And plus, price point wise, I think it's like $13. So, hell yeah. Label wise, it's cool. It's like a dolly kind of thing going on. Um, it probably means something to somebody or somebody knows something about it. I don't know, but I do not. That's what we call clear beer. Sure. There's a subtle haze to it. Um, you know, it's not just all that kind of chill haze on the outside. There's a little bit of haze to it, but for all intents and purposes, this is a clear beer by today's standards. Index finger, white as white could be head, fluffy creaminess going on, and that just washed out kind of amber uh, kind of look to it. Like pure amber, like what you see, like a mosquito stuck from the Paleozithic era. I'm mispronounced that and probably got the wrong error. Anyway, yeah, let's see if we can get a nose. It reminds me of a beer. What does this remind me of? What does this remind me of? Oh, I don't know. Hoppy? Ooh. No. Close. Maybe. This is old school IPA. New, old school, new school IPA. This is not like, it's not heady, it's not sip, it's not fiddle, but it's like like flower powery kind of in its old schoolness in the way it's coming off. So it probably is kind of a fully attenuated, kind of juicy, but not over the top crazy IPA. That's what I'm guessing here. Um, pale ale vibes in the news. Citrus, mango, um, even a little bit of stone fruit running the gamut here. Nothing's too electric. Nothing's overly super juicy. Nothing's bittering. This has this nice fruitiness to it. Super crisp. It smells like it's super well made. It's half acre. Let's just dive in. Cheers. That's exactly what this beer is. This beer is from like 2008 in the most prettiest way MFing possible. That's exactly what this beer is. This beer is flower power. What this, uh, let me rephrase that. This beer is what I remember Flower Power being the first time I had it. Does that mean Flower Power has changed? No. Um, is that me saying I have changed? Probably most likely, but we all change. Beers change, times change, palates change. But this is what I remember. And I don't want to single out Flower Power. It's in that vein. It's in that vein of the beers that were coming out when the Headies and Flower Powers and the beers like that were coming to a head. This is exactly what the, that kind of profile was. That wanted, very coveted kind of profile. I mean, it has a cleanliness to it. That is kind of like a, a West Coast Pale, West Coast IPA. There's a softness to it, a little softness to it. That's your new school coming in there. I mean, it, it, it's more crisp than it is kind of turbid, obviously, just by looking at it. But the mouthfeel, there's some softness there. There's some lushness to it. The way the actual beer comes off on the fruit side of things, it's not juicy, but it gives you those ideas of what juicy was, especially back in the day. That citrus, that stone fruit, that uh, tropical fruit, but in an under-ripened, kind of like, I don't want to say hard candy because I don't want to give it that kind of sense of that level of sweetness, but the flavors you would get from a hard candy of those fruits is kind of the way it's coming off. And there's this nice meaningful but not overly aggressive kind of fluttering little bit of west coast kind of bittering to it it's it's an east coast new school ipa it has some west coast tendencies big on the malt base a little bit on that resin characteristic but it's definitely this new school pre turbid pre super new england kind of ipa that really takes me back to be perfectly honest with you i mean this is just you know what this is this is tasty mf and beer is what this is it's exactly what this is. Tasty MFing beer. Bun. Man, this is really good. Mm. Beautiful mouthfeel. And that it's drinkable, but not heavy. But it's aggressive enough, dense enough. Everything about it. I love this beer. I absolutely love this beer. 
I love this beer. There you go. End of review. Shut it off. Um, no, but yeah, I mean, it's giving me everything I want. Listen, I mean, I love big, huge hazies, man. They're absolutely fantastic. I love them. I love them. And I love West Coast IPA, but I like a lot of different kind of beers, man. And these are, are the ones that are few and far between nowadays. At least when I look for them, I have a hard time finding them. And they get something like this off a shelf, re relatively fresh, less than a month old, from the Midwest. Here, and I bought it in Pennsylvania. I'm just drinking like this. It's an absolute gem of a beer. And the stuff, honestly, I want to drink more of. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, perfect balance between all those kind of three kind of fruit components that come off is that kind of, like I said, that hard candy kind of flavor, not necessarily with the sweetness, sweet enough, but not not overly by a shining stretch of the imagination, not overly sweet, nice kind of soft West Coast kind of vibes, kind of backing up that fruitiness, mouth feels fantastic. Is this one of the better IPAs that I've had as like, yes, it's Mount Rushmore status. It is, it is. Is it the first face in a mountain? Probably not, but right now I love it. That's all that matters. Um, bang availability, like I said, it's 13 bucks off a of shelf. Say what? That? And uh, leave you with if you like what well, we like this. If you like crap beer, now, I know a lot of times I'll sit here and I'll be like, if you like beer, you know, I don't think this beer's for everybody. You know, there's lambic nerds and super pasty show, whatever. If you like crap or even like a macro stuff is what I was trying to hit it. If you like crap beer, like really do genuinely like crap beer, you pick one of these up unless it's turned and super old or whatever, and you're just gonna go, eh, eh, that's your right. You don't have to like anything. But I'm like, really? You don't like this beer? I'm going to think about it, you know? It's kind of like when you go on a date. When you used to go on a date, because I haven't been on one in a very long time, because I have a wife and a kid, and that's awesome. Um, and you're like, you know, you're dating somebody, and you're talking about things you like, and you're like, man, we're just hitting this off. We really are hitting this off. And then uh, something comes up, and you're like, I can't, I can't forgive that shit. Like, they're like, oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, you want to see pictures of my dogs? And like, I, I don't like dogs. I'd be like, well, and I don't fucking like you because I don't trust anybody that doesn't like a dog or someone's like, oh, garlic sucks. And I'm like, unless you're allergic, garlic does not suck. And that means you are not a good person. That's kind of like this beer. I give this beer to somebody if they're like, yeah, I just don't like that. I'd be like, I do not trust anything you say anymore when it comes to beer. So um, you can exist in my circle, but I am not going to value your opinion. That's that's what this beer tastes like and who should be drinking it. So there we go. Reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. I had a fun with that one. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, let me know if you've had this, please. Um, massive beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif, if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little half acre right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.